To understand the wheel of the year, we first have to understand the earth and the sun. Is where we live. We all dance. We dance, and the whole world dances with us. Come on, Earth, let's all dance. Come on, kids, let's all dance. The other thing that we have to understand is the sun. The sun is our friend, and we go around the sun every year. Hello, Mr. Sun. Just keep on shining, and we'll keep going around you. Okay, let me tell you about this wheel. Except this wheel is the wheel of the year. You see, every year, the Earth goes around the sun like a wheel. It's a lot hotter in the top in the summer than it is in the winter when it's cold at the bottom. So, starting at the top, we have summer, then we go down to fall, then at the bottom, we come to winter, and then we come around to spring. And then we go to summer again. When the sun goes down, the days get shorter, and people think the sun is dying. When the sun, earth goes up, the days get longer, and the people think the sun is reborn again. That is why we celebrate the end of the year in winter, because a new sun is born for the new year. Okay, let's say the seasons of the year again. Summer, fall, winter, spring, summer. So, right at the bottom is winter solstice. And the 12 days after that are Yule. And the end of the year is at the end of Yule. Samhain, you may recognize, came before as Halloween. Another important thing to understand about Yule is trees. We think of the whole world as being a tree. We see the whole world as a tree. With Midgard in the middle is where we live in, on Earth, and up above us is Asgard, where the gods live. First, I'll say something about goats. You'll log, then we'll get to you. So, why goats? I don't know. Thor's chariot is led by a couple of goats, and that shows the importance of goats to the Norsemen. Anyway, in the north, they have great big, big goats, and they're made out of straw. They have to have a big crane just to move the goat around. Hold on, Yule Log, we'll get to you. Fire is very important in the cold north because it means light and warmth. So they take the goat and they burn it. This may be a continuation of the olden days when they used to dance around a bonfire. I want to mention the Oak King and the Holly King as being related to Yule. The Holly King is especially popular these days. Finally, I want to mention reindeer. There are a lot of reindeer in the north 
and they are important to the Yule holiday. Wow!